So let me discuss about session 24 called as uh, in black body radiation called as Planck's quantum hypothesis. In this Planck's quantum uh, radiation law and we'll derive the Planck's radiation law also. So to understand Planck's radiation law and to derive the Planck's radiation law. See consider uh, Planck's consider that black body radiation consists of a linear uh, oscillators of molecule dimension molecular dimensions and that energy of linear oscillator can assume only discrete energy that is 0, h nu, 2 h nu, 3 h nu like that up to so on n h nu where capital N0, N1, N2 are the number of oscillators per unit volume of an allogram passing energies 0, h nu, 2 h nu, 3 h nu respectively then the total number of oscillators n per unit volume will be n into N0 plus N1 plus N2 plus N3 plus etc but the number of oscillators n sub x r having the energy e sub x r is given by Maxwell formula that is e sub x r n sub x r is equal to n naught e to the power of e minus e divided by k t. Putting these values in this equation we will get n is equal to n naught plus n naught into e to the power of h nu by k t plus n naught by h e to the power of 2 h nu by k t plus h like that so on up to n naught e to the power of n h nu by k t. So, in looking at these expressions in N0 is taken as a common factor 1 plus e to the power of h nu by kt plus 1 plus uh, e to the power of minus uh, minus 2 h nu by kt plus etc etc up to e to the power of minus h nu by kt. So, this can be written as N0 divided by 1 minus e to the power of h nu by kt. Then the total number of energy also the N, total number total energy of n oscillators will be n e is equal to n1 into h nu plus n2 into 2 n 2 h nu plus n3 is equal to 3 h nu so on. So h nu has a common factor n1 plus 2 n2 plus 3 n3 plus 4 n3 n4 like that you can write. But n1 is equal to n0 e to the power of h nu by kt uh, where n2 is equal to n0 e to the power of 2 h nu by kt where n3 is equal to n0 e to the power of minus 3 h nu by kt. So on you will go on writing then we can write down n0 into h nu as n0 as a common factor then e to the power of h nu like that uh, 2 e to the power of like that you can take common factor e to the power of h nu by kt also take an common factor then we will get n0 into h nu e to the power of minus h nu by kt remaining is 1 plus x into a plus 3x where, like, where x is equal to e to the power of minus h nu by kt. So this bracket term can be written as 1, 1 minus x to the power of minus 2 then therefore n0 h nu e to the power of uh, e to the power of minus h nu by kt divided by 1 minus x square. So if I substitute x value there e to the power of minus h nu by kt so hence the average energy per oscillator is given by e is equal to e by n there n0 e to the power of n0 h nu e to the power of h nu by kt divided by 1 minus e to the power of h nu by kt whole square into 1 minus e to the power of h t k kt divided by n0. n0 and not, not cancels then therefore the ultimate expression will get h nu by e to the power of h nu by kt minus 1. Then on dividing the numerator and denominator by minus h nu by kt thus we can see that average energy of oscillator is not kt. Uh, as a classical mechanics therefore it is equal to h, t, h nu by e to the power of h nu by kt minus 1 is called as Planck's quantum theory. Further it can be reduced to the reduce that e, a number of oscillator per unit volume having the frequent frequency in the range sigma and sigma and sigma plus d sigma. It is equal to 8 pi sigma square dv d nu by c cube. Hence the average energy per unit volume or per unit volume uh, in, inside the enclosure is obtained by the multiplying with it is given by e nu into d nu is equal to h pi nu square nu d nu by c cube into h nu by e to the power of h nu by kt in minus 1 where nu is equal to c by lambda and d nu is equal to minus c divided by lambda square d lambda. The average can average energy per unit volume in the enclosure of the wave la, wavelets uh, between lambda and d lambda is given by e lambda into d lambda e to the power is equal to 8 pi hc by lambda to the power of pi into 1 divided by e to the power of hc by hc by kt minus 1 into d lambda. 
our average energy radiated by the black body corresponding to wavelength is equal to e lambda is equal to h pi h pi h 8 h pi c divided by lambda to the power of pi into 1 divided by e to the power of minus h c by lambda k t minus 1. So, the above equation is a quite often written in the form of uh, uh, called as a constant that e lambda is equal to c1 c1 by lambda to the power of minus pi into 1 divided by e to the power of c2 divided by lambda k t minus 1 where c1 is equal to 8 pi h c and c2 is equal to h c by uh, k are called as universal constants. So, thank you.